Hi there Year 9 and welcome to this presentation on GCSE Psychology. Um, my name is Mrs Turner and over the next five minutes I'm going to aim to give you a brief introduction to GCSE Psychology to hopefully encourage you to want to take this amazing subject at GCSE. So I'm sure what most of you are thinking right now is actually what is psychology as it is a subject that you haven't studied before. So just to give you a brief introduction, psychology really is all about the scientific study of the mind and human behaviour. How do those two interact and how, does our, how do our thoughts and our mind determine how we behave in the world around us? We observe and we conduct experiments and our whole idea is to try and gather data to try and show more and find out more about the way people act and the way that they interact. We want to understand what motivates us and what challenges us and what makes us change our behaviour and use this to try and help the world today, to try and tackle personal and social problems. Psychology is a really wide ranging subject. So what we try to do at GCSE is just to give you a flavour of the different areas within the subject so that in the future, if you find any of those areas particularly interesting, then you can specialise in those areas from A level onwards. The first area that we look at at GCSE is related to social influence. So it's the idea of how does the society that surrounds us influence us um, and how does it cause us to change our behaviour? So why do we obey certain people and not other people? Why do we conform to different people? And um, why do we walk past people who need our help just because society has dictated that that is what we need to do in that particular instance? We look at developmental psychology, so we look at the stages of development all the way from prenatal before you're born all the way up to adulthood. We look at the development of the brain during those stages and we look at key psychologists such as people like Piaget and their theories on how children develop. Another area we look at is memory. There's been lots of research conducted into how our memory works and the stages of information processing. We're interested in how we forget. We look at amnesia and we look at different cases of amnesia and how brain damage can also affect our memory. We spend a bit of time dipping into the whole area of mental illness and psychopathology. So we look at behaviour and when it's classed as abnormal, when does behaviour become abnormal? We look at things like depression, anxiety, phobias, schizophrenia, what causes them and how that we can treat them. Another area we look at, which is often really interesting to people, is crime. We try to look at why people turn to crime. We look at serial killers and we look at what their um, motivations are as to what has caused them to become the people that they are. We also look at the court system and we look at prisons and look at whether they are effective ways in trying to rehabilitate criminals. We also dip into the research on sleep and dreaming. So we have a look at the functions of sleep, the stages of sleep, and we also look at dreaming itself and look at what its function is um, and what different dreams mean. And last but not least, we also spend quite a lot of time looking at research methods, which are the techniques that psychologists use to be able to investigate behaviour and to gain evidence for their theories. So we carry, you will get to carry out small mini experiments, observations, correlations and self-reports, gather your own data and analyse your data so that you actually act like um, trainee psychologists. So what skills do you need to succeed in psychology? Well, as it says on here, you need to be able to be prepared to learn and memorise a large range of material. Um, this is only assessed in exams, and so therefore you have to have the ability to be able to revise and learn information. You have to be able to analyse and evaluate, um, and you have to be able to apply your knowledge to various different aspects of life to new novel situations. Most importantly, you need to have a high commitment to the course, um, and the willingness to work really hard because although this is a really interesting course that I'm really passionate about I also need to highlight the fact that it is not an easy course and it does require dedication. You're assessed in psychology at the end of year 11 with two exam papers which are both 90 minutes long and are both worth 90 marks. Research methods is assessed throughout both of those exams and just to reiterate there is no internally assessed element there is no coursework at all so you have to be confident in exams um, you have to have a good level of literacy and mathematical ability because there is some maths involved in the research methods section just so that you're aware of that and it doesn't come as a surprise when that part of the course is taught okay so to sum up psychology is a really interesting subject you get to learn about yourself and the world around you and all of the people that surround you so if that's something that interests you then this is the course for you 
Um, if you have got any more questions, um, please feel free to contact me, Mrs Turner, on my email, which is showing now on this PowerPoint. Alternatively, you can contact Miss Anderson, who also teaches psychology. Um, we also have an assembly coming up soon, which please make sure you attend, because when you see that one, obviously that gives me more opportunity to give you more information about psychology. And it also gives you the opportunity to ask questions. Well, thank you very much for listening, and I hope to welcome you on our course soon.